Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weeklies. How are you? I'm just checking the audio. Audio good? <laughs> How are you? Is your weeklies? So let's see what's going on. It's focusing on love. Um, for people who likes to see other um, kind of reading, the monthlies and the bi-weeklies, I believe, has career. So if, you know, and finances. Family stuff, ventures. So if you're just new to the channel, um, you know, check those out. If you're wondering, like, where are... Where's uh, readings besides love? Okay, so let's see what's going on. Ooh, lovers in a nine of wands. Let's see. Now it says uh, Libra as the title, so which only means you have to be a Libra in order to watch this. We don't do cross watching here. We don't flip or reverse the you know the reading we stay true to whoever we're reading okay let's see three of swords also popping out right here libra what's up let's see okay you have a page of swords a lot of thoughts a lot of thinking that you're doing right now this um, this feels like planning. Um, it can be your goals in life, okay? Uh, you probably have some sort of a retirement plan, going back to school, laying down the groundwork, because this is studies. You might even apply to a new job. You're probably thinking about maybe it's time for me to change jobs. But this can also be you applying for, let's just say, unemployment first, you know, financial support on um, Page of Swords because there's a lot of documents there. You could also be doing a lot of research. Um, the research part would be different from everyone. So you could be researching on how to cook, researching on how to, um, you know, pursue your hobby, opening up a business online. Um, I don't know how to cut your own hair. Uh, a lot of uh, research, and this is very popular, especially what we're doing right now. So a lot of um, do-it-yourself, DIY, do, okay. I always mix the DIY and the DUI. <laughs> so that's that. Now, this is also, you've been thinking about this person for quite some time. You also have gathered so much information. You already know, like, okay. Um, what do I do to this person because it's a little bit difficult like what you are having with this person is difficult it's challenging um, only because okay uh, communication can be something of a problem I hope the Sun is not oh, I feel like I'm overexposed now I will vanish through the screen okay because the Sun is coming out Let's see a vanishing cream okay. let's see Five of Swords. Now, what's interesting is before I changed the deck, because okay, I have the other deck, right? I've been using the Five of Swords here was brutal. And I was thinking, like, hmm, I wonder how the Five of Swords would look here. And there it, oh, there it goes. It showed. Okay. Five of Swords, you can see there are two people, one se you know, separated. This is based on ego, argument that is basically nonsense. Yes, I, can, I will call it nonsense because it's petty. So you could be, this is not, you're not writing an apology with a page of swords, just to be clear. Uh, I feel, in a way, you were trying to teach someone a lesson. <laughs> I don't know, I teach you a lesson. And you found out a way. You could have also found out the truth with the five of swords and the page of swords with whatever, you know, anything that they're doing. But this is not to your liking, so it only means that you have certain um, expectation. They fell through the cracks. You put, you could have put this person in a pedestal, or not the person, but the relationship. You expect the best, and they were not able to deliver. You got upset. You got angry. With the Five of Swords over here, it's just like, when will you learn? You know, when will you learn? I'm hearing also, I. I'm, you know, it's like I have to say it. When will you shut up? I don't want to be in that room. Okay. Kids, go to Disney. Teens, go to TikTok. We got to talk. 
Me and your mom or dad are gonna have a serious talk first, okay? Mm. Tanaka <laughs> and then the kids came. So you could have have a family with this person, married with this person. The Ten of Cups shows uh, uh, like, look, if you have kids, you're talking, like, you could be talking to kids like kids where me and dad or mom, we're not fighting, whatever you guys call it, babe, you know, um, we're not fighting. We're just having a discussion. You're trying also to make it look in the outside world that everything is fine. I hope, I swear, I'm not overexposed. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. With the Ten of Cups here, this is... You know, the love is there between the two of you. Like, this is something that gets you guys to the next day. Um, you may have, you know, petty quarrels, petty fights. But, you know, overall, it does get resolved. Okay. There is the whole, I'm sorry, you know, this, this, and that. So, there is that. You know, because uh, when I say there is that, there's that part of the relationship that is still, in a way, sacred. Okay. So, Five of Swords is totally not sacred. It, you know, this is cooking. You probably cook for this person. You guys enjoy some dinner together. The Sun card. Leo or Taurus. Taurus is it's still Taurus season. Okay, so Ideal as always. Mm -hmm. The Sun card here only shows that there was an argument. You guys were able to resolve it. Okay, so that's good. I like that there was patching up. There was differences in opinion. But the two of you have understand each other. I like that. So the connection is going to um, evolution, which is it's maturing. Normally, you know, arguments are during the time where planets in each chart are still trying to learn their karma or, you know, burning through their karma. Because, you know, at the age of, you know, at certain time, you know, because in our fourth, fifth, sixth dash, I mean, fifth, sixth dash already, no one has the energy to fight. So you could be stepping into that zone, okay? I'm talking about Dasha, not the age, but you can match it with the age also. Meaning in your 50s, in your 60s, the energy is not there to fight. The energy is to make peace. The energy is to resolve things. You know, this is what you're doing here. So it can be your Dasha, it can be your age. Uh -huh. But this is not about age shaming or anything like that. Mm -mm. I'm, just, I'm just telling you how it can be resolved. Knight of Wands. I feel like the two of you are experiencing something good. Okay. Uh, with the sun and the knight of wands, you could be connecting with someone who's younger, Libra. Okay, someone who's younger. I feel like the two of you are enjoying right now each other's company. Okay, that's good. You guys have reached, um, you know, a part of the relationship where it's becoming more sensitive for each other. But while well, this person is very immature with the knight of wands, because they can be a risk taker, they do whatever they want, they react. Okay, they could have, you know, they just jump from one situation to another. It's hard to deal with the night because the, the attention or the focus is very, very uh, short. Okay, and that could also be where you guys have always had to fall in apart is, you know, it's like they can't just focus. You could be talking for one thing and then argument the next minute. You have here the Seven of Cups and the Page of Swords. I feel like you are given an uh, um, you are given an, uh, a chance here. You see that? Page of Swords with the Seven of Cups, a chance to explore the good life. You know, this is look. You're probably going back to the store right now. You know, maybe some window shopping. You know, provided that you, um, you know, you practice whatever safe distancing that is there because it's like, oh, I, I feel like I'm good. I'm ready to explore. But this is now, you know, as as the world has changed, you're thinking, what is there for me? You know, you're thinking, what should I do with my life? So there's the future self right now that is, you know, becoming in the present. Meaning, um, should I study, open a business, um, pursue my spirituality? Like all these things right now, you're realizing, it's like, you know what? It's time to do something for myself. It's time to do something for myself. Okay. Ooh, wow. Well, that's the, that argument led to a breakup, okay? Five of Swords with a Death card, either a breakup 
or I, like what I mentioned, a transformation between the two of you. Someone's ego was uh, totally annihilated. Death to ego, basically. So the two of you are facing each other. It's like, you know what? If we're always just going to fight and we're always just going to be argumentative and we cannot find it in the middle, you know, how is this going to work out? Now, with the death card, you guys have completely battled it out. That is good. That is healthy. Very, very healthy. Scorpio, transformation is here. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So now, this is just showing that um, you have spoken the truth to this person. You told them your feelings. You were not scared. You use love instead of just cutting them off. Okay. That's it. Queen of Swords with the Ten of Cups. I love it. Okay. So you're showing another side of the Libra where it's not about the Queen of Swords cutting. It's about you balancing it out and working things with your partner. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands and they're under the Sun card. This only means that uh, in the relationship, in the connection that you guys have, okay, um, you have, um, how do I say this? You have, you have made sure that there are certain restrictions in the relationship. Like things will work out provided that we do this. We have to be strict, meaning with the changes. You do this, I do that. You know, it's like, okay, can we do this? So, so you're really about enlightening the situation and fixing it. Okay. Seven of Wands, you're not blocking them. I don't feel that. I just feel like you're protecting the relationship now. I mean, as you know, like you have so much value for it because you guys are resolving things. Mm -hmm. And it was coming out earlier. The lovers. See, I told you, you guys are working things out. Knight of Wands with the lovers as a Gemini. So you're finding a mutual respect, um, balance between each other, and I feel like it's about to blossom. I like it. Okay, so let me continue this reading, uh, Libra, how this love that has transformed, that has changed, is about to go to a wonderful union. Okay, can be with a Sag. Gemini, you got another Libra Scorpio, you got a, what is, um, Aqua, mm -hmm. and Taurus, I see it here, okay, so, everything's gonna be in the description box down there, have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys, and, oh, um, remember, we have moved the Soul Desire, it's gonna be in the second week of June, not in the first week, the first part of it. So make sure you check it. It's going to be in the description. I'll see you guys again. Bye.